Alright, so I got another 1v1 map for you guys. Honestly, I think this might be my best map yet. We're just gonna jump right into it. I'm gonna be using Island 1, just to keep it simple. Huh. I'm gonna start out with smooth quartz stairs, sea lanterns, black concrete, and purple concrete. And the ender chest is what is gonna hold all of the things that you're gonna want for your 1v1s. So I'm going to start out by placing down some black concrete. All right, so now we have a big 20 by 20 square that we're going to be using. I'm going to try to figure out where we're going to put these ramps. So I think I'm just going to kind of make a line here just so I can get an idea of where the middle might be. Right here is the middle. So I think what I'm gonna do is something like this. Just make it three wide, I think. should be good. I'm just gonna fill the bottom here in with quartz so that you don't have that gap there. Looking pretty nice so far. Um, and now I think I'm just gonna decorate the outside with this purple concrete. Now outside of this purple part, I'm just going to go out by three on each side with some black wool. looking pretty nice so far. At this point, I'm just gonna go around the edges and start building up a bit.
I definitely think on this side, I'm gonna bring this out a little bit so that when you're 1v1, yeah, you're, you're not gonna run into that wall. Yeah, you're just kind of used to it. It's, uh, it's like getting good at searching. It's very abstract. It's trying to describe things in a way that you can change. Oh, um, yeah, I can do anything. We can make arrows explode when they hit the ground. Instead. have exploding arrows, they're actually kind of fun. Let's give it a bigger explosion! Alright, so now we have all of this, and if you want to, you can put a roof on top. I'm not going to because if your build fight goes high enough, you really wouldn't want it to hit the ceiling, and it's a lot of work to place everything up higher and higher, all these walls. Um, so I think I'm going to leave it as is. So at this point, I'm just going to set down two ender chests, and I'm just going to grab some uh, armor and weapons to put in. If you want to use special enchanted arrows or armor or any of that, go right ahead. I'm going to keep my map simple with this uh, relatively normal loadout. And as you can see, it placed everything that's in this chest over in the other one. Uh, but again, you got to remember to put two sets of everything so that each player can have what they want. And now over on this side, I'm going to want to have an entrance of some sort so that you can get in. Uh, so I'm going to start over here just by going from the middle. Just walk straight over. As you can see, it lines up well. I think I'm going to grab some doors, probably iron ones. I think those ones look nice. I'm going to grab an iron door and a weighted pressure plate. So if we walk out here, just place these two down. 
Could have grabbed some quartz stairs and a block of quartz. So we can place these two down. Uh, so now when you walk up to it, you can just walk straight in using the pressure plates. And what you don't want to forget is to place some over on this side too so that you can get in and out easily. And I'll add some more stairs over here just to kind of make it nice and symmetrical and everything. So now if you come up here, you can see everything this has to offer. Final touch I wanted to add is just putting some of these um, sea lanterns into the corners because uh, I really like the look of these and then that'll add some extra light if you want any. And just to finish it off I'm gonna add circle around this as well. The very final step is to go into your inventory and grab a couple stacks of, uh, I'm gonna use smooth quartz stairs, because this is what you're gonna want to use for your building. Don't run to play and you will see that we are just meant to be. 